Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope. It's going to be for October 17th to the 23rd. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description of box below. All right, my beautiful dogs, let's jump right in here. All right, so we're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest films, the box relation challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to be my Leo's Romance and Love Life October 17th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leo, let's take a look. 17th, 18th of October, 19th, 20th, 21, 22, and 23rd. Let's move this over. Love interest feelings, blockage delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, we see some slow moving actions towards Virgo Capricorn energy, trying to come back in and heal the connection. All right, so your obstacle or blockage is a twin flame, a divinely guided relationship, mm, someone who wants to get close to you because they feel like there's a, um, a very profound relationship between you and them. And by the way, if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, Leo, just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna go over your love interest feelings, more about the block shillings and challenges and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, again, and you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you do both. All right, let's jump right in. All right, Leo, so it looks like on the 17th, there's something about responsibilities here. Somebody feels really responsible or there's some kind of responsibilities they have to deal with here. So let's see what that's about. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life, October 17th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Mm -hmm. So there's somebody that feels really responsible. They don't wanna lose out on something here. Hmm. There's this concern of loss because of responsibilities. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, keep it going here. All right, let's use this deck. What's going on my Leo's Romantic Love Life, October 17th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Yeah, there's somebody that really wants to get close to you. They feel like you give them an inner peace. There's a lot of emotions between you and them. And there's something around this connection that deals with responsibilities, okay? And this concern about losing out on you or losing you. It seems like someone's really taking lead in this connection and the other person feels like they have to kind of catch up. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. If it resonates, it will. Okay, so let's keep going. But it's almost like when you're with this person, it's, or it could even be this person, it's like, um, just living in the moment, just losing this all sense of time, getting caught up in that moment with that person. And it seems like it just kind of flows. It's like you're very similar. So what's going on by Leo's Romantic Love by October 17th to the 23rd? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Hmm. There's something about marriage around this situation, or there is this sense that, yeah, I want to be with this person on the long term. Okay. Yeah, we see some kind of legal decision here. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. Well, this can also represent there's already a relationship around this. That's very possible. Um and needing a sigh of relief here. Okay, let's keep going. Now, this card states, states like needing some kind of flexibility. 
But I also get the sense that there's a defensiveness, like standoff kind of energy. Let's find out what that's about. When it comes to a relationship, a soulmate connection, a soul contract, I can't stop thinking about you. Someone is really thinking heavily about you on the 19th. They have some long-term plans here, Leo. Um, they can't get you off their mind. We see there's some kind of travel here. Maybe they're going to travel to you on this day. Maybe we're talking about they have plans about a vacation or going to you or moving, traveling or moving plans here to kind of fix this situation, to come move closer for some of you guys. Yeah, this person really wants the relationship to evolve here, to go to the next level. They're trying to regain some kind of confidence in this situation on the 20th. It's kind of like, I really appreciate you, Leo. I want to bring things into balance. I, I feel like things have come full circle. Yeah, um, so there's somebody who wants to regain confidence with you because they have regrets about what happened. It's like they can't let go of you. They keep reliving these old memories of the past. So there's some kind of a mourning energy here. And there's like this defensiveness, cautiousness, wanting a sense of security around the connection. That's on the 20th. And this concern about repeating the same things or sabotaging something. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's use let's use this deck. Let's kind of find Leo's romantic love life, October seventeenth to twenty third. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, someone's really sad about you, crying. There's a sense of lost depression. There's very strong chemistry and passion between you and this person, but there's this energy of like my hands are tied I feel like I'm held, held back because of something and there's some kind of consequences for this you know cause and effect something from the past there's this person that's concerned you're gonna leave them out in the cold or five of pentacles can also talk about spending money or this concern about loss okay what's that about I've seen this card a, a couple of different ways in personal readings. It can talk about deceptions. It can talk about sexy energy, okay? Doing something that's last, like sexy. Okay, so let's see what that's about. Let's clarify further and see what that is about. Yeah, interesting enough, there's another cat here. Cats do represent kind of a sexy energy, but it's like, there's this sense of, okay, maybe the worst of this is over and now I can get focused on you. Maybe you brought me back from being out in the cold and now there can be a sense of stability and stableness here. Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's a passionate kind of energy around this, wanting to chase some kind of thrills and having a sense of excitement here. There's strong desires coming in here or getting what you want here or what you wish for here on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of appreciation, a gift for some of you guys. This, this card can be a gift, an invitation, okay, or lots of appreciation. Okay, let's see what that's about. I want to protect this. I want to heal this connection. Okay, let's see. What that's about oh you're shocked and surprised about it ah uh, but you are this person realizes they messed up there's some kind of mixed signals here okay I feel sad there's very strong chemistry and passion uh, passion with this person but it's like I don't want to keep going around in circles seems to be some stuff that happened from before and we see there's a lot of chemistry and passion, exciting energy here, but also on the same token, there's like this concern of these mixed single signals and feeling like, oh my God, maybe I messed up. Okay, so. All right, so we got this good news coming in towards Virgo Capricorn energy on the 23rd. By the way, if the day-to-day -day seems confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna clarify it with the overall energy, okay? And we're also gonna look at your love interest feelings. Okay, so good news. 
I want to be with you, Leo. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. Okay, I want to be with you, Leo. You see miracles. You see good signs here that now the worst of this is over. This is my twin flame. Ah, twin flame. Okay. Let's keep it going. There's a, already an established foundation here. Okay. Wow. So there's a want to move forward with the twin flame, obviously, that energy. But it seems like some of you guys are coming out of another connection. Either you or the other person is. Like maybe a marriage or a long-term commitment here. Okay. Something, there's something about this that shows like some kind of their commitment. But I see that the obstacle or blockage here is because of this twin flame energy. It's like this divine connection. There's a lot of strong chemistry between you and this person. Okay, so let's come to your love interest feelings and we're going to go further in this, okay? Single and available to pursue a sense of independence. I want to speak with you about success, happiness, living in the moment, enjoyment, okay? You make me happy. I love having a good time with you. There's a lot of pleasure seeking going on and being more than just a friend. I want something to change here, Leo. I find you very attractive, but I really just want to talk with you by yourself alone, away from everyone else. There is strong chemistry and passion between us and I want to rise above this because I'm concerned about other people or competition or infringing parties. You know, I'm bluffing here when it comes to this chasing because I just want to have a sense of peace. Okay, so they're chasing, but they're kind of trying to pretend they're not. Okay, so we got this twin flame relationship going on here as the obstacle or blockage. We see something about a commitment or wife and this concern about self-indulgence. There's a depth of emotions and discovering that about the situation, which is called part of the obstacle or blockage. And we see this concern because there's a spiritual connection, a past life connection, or a past relationship for some of you guys. Okay, so we got this work situation or money situation because it does hit, talk about something about this around burdens of responsibility. And we see this heartache and sadness because now you have a better understanding. You've gained new perspective, new understanding, or this concern about this naivete or new perspective about the heartache and sadness and the effort. We see there's advice being gotten here towards loyalty and devotion. And this person's like, I was really foolish about this. They're gonna speak their truth to you about the uniqueness of this connection and they're ready to take a risk. There's this travel situation and we see conversations taking place here and a lot of reflecting on what happened before. You're really shocked by this reflecting on what happened before because you, you thought you were just fantasizing and dreaming it, but there was a real situation between you and this person that caused a lot of hurt and pain. There's this clinging of this energy and this apology taking place here about the restrictions, the boundaries, and the sense of, I've had enough. It's time for loyalty and devotion. And there's this concern about these third party influences. All right, let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice for my heels when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest, best, good, for the best possible for them? October 17th to the 23rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Leo, let's see. You already know, like you have the foresight to know, right? You are able to see to make this decision. You have all the resources that you need. Trust your instincts on this. Sit back, relax, and honor your soul's path here. Just listen. Adapt to the situation. You'll find a creative solution here. If you have the courage to ask for what you want, Okay. All right, my beautiful Leos. Looks like you're connecting with your twin flame. It looks like there's been this kind of like back and forth energy, but a strong realization, a strong, um, very strong change here by the end of the week. Obviously, 
to the point where you're like, oh my God, this is exactly what I wanted and this is the miracle that I've been waiting for, right? With that uh, nine of cups energy, yeah. And then we got the tower card showing you, you are gonna be shocked about uh, because there's been these mixed signals going on between you and this person. And maybe there was a sense that it was just about pleasure seeking, right? But then there was a real strong realization that actually there's more to this connection than beats the eye, right? So my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two if you're interested in checking out my new episode of JWZ Mysteries, which which is I'll be releasing every Sunday outside of the content that I do for you guys all the time. Um, I just released another video for that. If you guys wanna check it out, go to the front of my page and you'll see it. It's the one that's playing in the, in, the, in the trailer part, or you can go to JWZ's Mysteries um, playlist. All right, my beautiful darlings, I love you guys so much. Definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. By the way, where are my Leos from? Let me know where you guys are from. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. I do read my comments, so. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. And there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now for your sign. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon.